Hello everyone. Uh, me again, Ricky Dragoni, author. Oh, world's strongest author. Let's get that right. Uh, what? You think you're stronger than me, uh, fellow authors? Come on, come on, bring it. We'll have a lift off anytime. <laughs> Anyways, uh, last time uh, we talked about Maria Hurricane and the aftermath in Puerto Rico from my visit. Uh, so I know it's a little heavy, but I know some of you want to know and are afraid to ask. So got it out so but this time I am I want I I should be talking about books uh, Prime Infinity and audio Swift and audio uh, but there there was an incident in my coaching that I, I had to share it was just too damn funny so as some of you know uh, I really like to do three things uh, I write I coach and I lift weights so right now we're in baseball season, which is uh, can be an exercise of patience. Uh, I challenge any yogi out there to coach a baseball team <laughs> and tell me how to be one with nature afterwards. But I love it. I can't, I, you know, I can't complain. I love it. But uh, a couple of tournaments ago, we had what it's called now the gummy bear incident. I've never in my life thought I would have to ban gummy bears from a dugout or say the phrase, but here we are. So, you know, the kids have gum, they have seeds, they candy, whatever, in a dugout. It's kind of part of the baseball culture. But one of the kids brought this huge bag of gummy bears. I didn't think anything about it. Gummy bears are fine, you know, they're, they're delicious. But things took a weird turn. First, they had, uh, oh, what was his name? I can't remember. Well, they had one gummy bear, and they would sit him on the, on the rail to watch the game, which I thought was cute, why not? And the gummy bear fell. I, I, I was just worried one of them was going to eat it or somebody was going to challenge, you know, a bunch of boys. Won't you eat the dirty gummy bear? Sure. Nobody did. But then, all of a sudden, they all had their own gummy bear kind of, oh, jeez, whatever. Uh, they all had their own gummy bear. And it, as the game progressed, they were more worried about the gummy bears and putting them here and them doing that. And it, it started to get a little weird. But, you know, they play, when they lose, they relax, they play better. So I, I kept giving it a little more rope, a little more rope. Then at the end of the game, it all went crazy. Uh, we won. Did we win? I can't remember to be honest with you. And yeah, we won that game. And they were excited. And somebody apparently killed the main gummy bear mascot we had. And they decided they were going to bury it behind home, behind home plate. And I'm like, what is happening? And it was like they turned into Lord of the Flies. And they, like, almost all of them, they're like, two of the other kids are like, what is happening? They all rushed to home plate like a stampede of wild animals. They dug a hole and they buried a, homie, a gummy bear. I, I was like, you know, on the drive home, it's like, I think I'm going to have to outlaw gummy bears in my dugout because it was bananas. It, I, like, I, I've never seen anything like it. It was, it was a strange experience. I mean, it was funny but weird. And I... I posted something on my Instagram about it, and one of the kids uh, say, "I hope we're done with gummy bears in the in the dugout." And another one, "I hope we're not," but I did have to end up banning the gummy bears because uh, the inner caveman wild child came out of all my baseball players, and it was a little terrifying. It was amusing but scary. So that is the the gummy bear incident. Uh, any other fellow coaches out there that have had? Anything similar, please tell me so I don't feel like I am the only one which have had his team bury a gummy bear behind home plate. I am quite sure I am the only one, uh, but uh, yeah, I wanted to give you a little, a little story about my coaching and uh, my experiences with the kids. Uh, anyways, uh, again, check out the books on audio or paperback or ebook. Prime Infinity, this with the Angel Madman, Ripples, and uh, happy reading. Thank you so much. See ya.